Under the guise of speech codes and safe spaces and trigger warnings, these universities have tried to restrict free thought, impose total conformity, and shut down the voices of great young Americans like those here today. It's great people. All of that change is starting right now. We're dealing with billions and billions and billions of dollars. <laughs> Taxpayer dollars should not subsidize anti-First Amendment institutions, and that's exactly what they are, anti-First Amendment. Universities that want taxpayer dollars should promote free speech, not silence free speech. <laughs> Today, we're delivering a clear message to the professors and power structures trying to suppress dissent and keep young Americans, and all Americans, not just young Americans, from challenging rigid far-left ideology. People who are confident in their beliefs do not censor others. We don't want to censor others. They welcome free, fair, and open debate, and that's what we're demanding. Under the policy I am announcing today, federal agencies will use their authority under various grant-making programs to ensure that public universities protect, cherish, protect the First Amendment and First Amendment rights of their students or risk losing billions and billions of dollars of federal taxpayer dollars. <laughs> Student loan debt. I'm going to work to fix it because it's outrageous what's happening. You're not given that fair start. Uh, you're too far down. It's not right. And we're going to work very, very hard to get it fixed. But we're going to start with 43 million people in the United States are currently working to pay off student loans. And we'll be talking about that very soon. We're going to work on that very soon. I've always been very good with loans and <laughs> I love loans. I love other people's money. <laughs> We're going to work on it.